What's up? What's up? What's up? So, as you guys can see, Billy Joe Saunders versus Martin Murray. It's uh, happening. It's set for Friday, December 4, 2020, over at the SSE Arena in Wembley in the UK. Fight will be shown live over in the UK on Sky Sports over here in the United States of America. It will be on the zone. So, um,. Yeah, WBO Super Middleweight title on the line, which Billy, Billy Joel Saunders will be defending in this fight. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, they were scheduled to fight each other back in 2018. Uh, 2018, I think, yeah, they were scheduled to fight in 2018, and then I think, uh, I think it was Billy who suffered like an injury, and they had to postpone it, and then they were scheduled for another date, and... I think Billy got injured again. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't remember, to be honest. It was two years ago. But anyway, they were supposed to fight in 2018, but it, it didn't happen. And now here they are. 2020. With a pandemic going on around the world. They'll be fighting on the 4th of December. So Billy Joe Sanders, we all know who he is. Billy Joe Sanders. Uh, 31 years old now. Undefeated still. Zero losses, 29 and 0, 14 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. He is the WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World. He won the title when he fought Shefat Isufi for the vacant title and he defended it once against Marcelo Esteban. And if uh, I remember correctly, he was supposed to fight Canelo. He was online to fight Canelo, but um, you know, a pandemic happened. It's just bad luck for Billy Joe Saunders. But it is what it is. Um, here he is fighting Martin Murray. Martin Murray. Uh, we all know who Martin Murray is. He's 38 years old now, so he's uh, up there in age. Um, to be honest, I thought he retired, but here he is still fighting. 39 and 5, 1 draw, 17 wins come by way of Nakar Tikeo. Only has been stopped once in his career, and that was against uh, Triple G back in 2015. Man, that felt like it was a long time ago. And uh, as you guys can see, you know, he's won some, lost some. He had controversial fights against Arthur Abraham, lost to George Groves, uh, won a close fight against Gabriel Rosado, won a close fight against Hassan Nandam. Um, and yeah, oh, and since the Nandam, oh, lost a close fight, I should say, lost a close fight against Hassan Nandam. I think I said one, right? Anyway, uh, since he lost to Nandam, he's won two fights in a row against relatively unknown fighters like Rui Manuel Pavanito and Sladan Janjanin. To be honest, I have no idea who they are, but um, Martin Murray was able to rebound from that loss against Nandam, and now here he is somehow fighting <laughs> for a world title. So, uh, a lucky break for Martin Murray. Um, he's in a position to possibly win a world title at 168 pounds. Um, you know, good for him. I'm sure he's getting paid big money for this fight. I'm sure Mr. Eddie Hearn is paying uh, Saunders some decent money as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm honestly just looking forward to it. I've noticed some criticism towards this fight, saying why is this fight happening? It doesn't need to happen. But honestly, the the way I look at it, it's it's better than no fight. That's the way I look at it. It's better than no fight at all. Um, especially for Saunders, who is considered one of the best fighters out there in the world today, especially in super middleweight division at 168 pounds. Um, you know, highly talented, highly skilled. Uh, hopefully, we get to see the Callum Smith fight in the future. That's the fight that most people want, more people want to see over this fight. Uh, but uh, I, I just look at it as uh, better than no fight. And at the same time, it, it's like a stay busy fight. You know, this for both fighters, not just. Saunders, but for both fighters to stay active, stay busy in this uh, pandemic, um, you know, both fighters, uh, it's an opportunity for both fighters to earn some money while, uh, you know, big crowds are still not allowed. So I, I don't mind it at all. I'm honestly looking forward to it. I mean, the 4th of December is not that long from now. So I, I look forward to a great night of uh, boxing, uh, December 4th. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.